Welcome to HoseTraining.com. In this video, we will be covering start light reusables. Here are some tools you may need to complete your assembly. The FCM3661 soft jaw, the FCM3410 aluminum wrench set, FBM3553 hose assembly lube, and the FT1220-10 mandrel kit. First, you must cut your hose to length. For more information on determining the hose length from the overall assembly length, please refer to the SuperGem video. After cutting your hose, you must install the socket onto the hose. This is done by applying even pressure on the fitting and rotating it counterclockwise until it threads onto your hose. Once the hose has bottomed out in the socket, back the socket off a quarter of a turn. If you are installing a three-piece female fitting, you may use a male fitting to lock the nut onto the nipple to prevent turning while you are trying to insert it into the socket. You may also want to use an FT1220-10 mandrel, available on aeroquip.cc. Once you are ready to install the nipple, apply a small amount of assembly lubricant to the tip and begin pushing it into the hose. Be sure to thread the nipple into the socket correctly. Cross-threading can result in critical failure. There will be considerably less marring and much more grip if you use a soft jaw in your vise. The soft jaw can be found on aeroquip.cc. For aluminum fittings, using the FCM3410 aluminum wrench set available from aeroquip.cc is recommended to prevent marring. Screw the fitting into the hose until there is a thumbnail's thickness between the socket and the body of the fitting. If you are installing a female, it should spin freely allowing easy hose installation.